Hey everyone, Natalie Weatherly here. I wanted to come live, and I might come live every day for 30 days. And what I'm gonna come live about is to talk to you about stop striving for perfection. It's something that me and my, my team, my ladies and my private group are working on. This is like a couple weeks ago, had this revelation, you know, that I was like, oh, I messed up. I ate bad, I messed up, I did this, I didn't do that, I didn't work out, and totally shortchanging the good things that I did for that day, totally not giving it any recognition, not giving it any praise, not giving it any celebration, not acknowledging it at all. And as me being a coach, like I'm leading a group of ladies that are near and dear to my heart like me to be leading by that kind of example is not okay I don't want them to think that way and I don't want to think that way so you know we're really trying to be mindful you know it starts with that you paying attention to what you're saying what you're thinking um, you know and we kind of do it a lot in the group because we kind of recap every day and say hey I did great today or hey I did bad today or hey I messed up today and it was like whoa stop so for like maybe, I think maybe two weeks now. Um, hey Renee, um, so for about two weeks, it's every day we're coming into the group and we're sharing what success we had. It can be little, it can be big. And you know what, even if it's little, it means so much. You know, the fact that I worked out this morning, that's huge and it should be celebrated. If you worked out this morning, or today or this afternoon or tonight that's a celebration and be proud of it don't make it sound like it doesn't matter by I well I didn't do this or I've only worked out one day this week or you know today counts and today matters and every single hey Sandy every single thing that you do today counts and it matters and I want you all to recognize that and be proud of it so I think I want to go live every single day just to help remind you that it does matter if you know today I've actually eaten pretty good today um, I've had healthy meals I didn't get into the snack machine at work and everybody knows like that is huge if Natalie stays out of the snack machine that's like that's not a little success that is a huge success but I'm having a mixed beverage tonight because I want to, you know, it's not that, oh, that's wrong, it's bad, I messed up. Well, you know, crap. I'm thinking about, you know, how many times have we ruined how we feel about ourselves every single day because you shortchange what successes you have and you're, all you're dwelling and focusing on is what, what you think you did wrong. And it's a choice. I chose to have this mixed beverage tonight and you know tomorrow you may choose to have that donut out of the kitchen in the snack room so what if you do you chose to do that and that is fine move on enjoy it by golly don't like if you're gonna eat it freaking enjoy it and maybe show it off and you know snap a picture and send it to a buddy but you know, move on. It didn't ruin your day. It doesn't mean you're a failure. It doesn't mean you screwed up. It doesn't mean that, well, I'm gonna screw up the rest of the day. I'm not even gonna worry about eating right or exercising. Just stop. So I don't wanna ramble on too long because y'all are gonna see me every day for 30 days. If you don't see me by like 7.30 p.m., you better be like, hey, what up? Where's our video? Where's a reminder? And it's, I just wanna share with you what we're doing, what's what is working for us, maybe what's not working for us. And right now we're just focusing on our mindset and being mindful of what we say, that we really don't mess up. We may make some choices in a day to have something or to not do something, maybe to not work out and just be thankful and celebrate what you did right and what was good and what made you feel good. Celebrate the healthy things, celebrate the positive mindset maybe you had for the day. Celebrate those kind of things and stop striving to be perfect. Perfect doesn't last. Perfect doesn't, it just doesn't last. And I think you're always setting yourself up to be disappointed. And that's not a way to live and it's not a way to be. 
my mindset has done a 360 from the same time last year. And am I a size two right now like I was last year? No. Do I have a six pack abs? No. Did I have them last year when I was a size two? No. <laughs> you know, I was like, why am I striving for something? I'm 40. And if I don't have six pack abs yet and never have, it's probably not gonna happen. And now finally I'm like, I'm releasing that. It's okay. Forget about it. You know what? I like drinking too much for six pack abs. I like my cheese dip and my chips more than six pack abs. So, you know what? Is to finally have that mind shift is so amazing and feels so good. Cause now it's like, you know what? I wanna be healthy and I wanna feel good and eating healthy makes me feel good. But I also wanna just enjoy and be happy with where I am and how I look and enjoy life with my hubs and my two baby bullies. You know, and I want the same thing for you. So thank you guys for joining. Um, thank you, Christina, Laura. Thank you guys for being on. Um, I hope you have a good night. And you're going to see me tomorrow with the same message. Bye.